will join us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. We will take up agenda item number two. We will discuss and take possible action on approval of payroll number 14 for the period ending July 7, 2023. I move to approve payroll number 14. Second. I have a motion in the section to approve payroll number 14. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All in favor, aye. 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 Item number three, discuss and take possible action on approval of personnel action forms. For the first time in seven years, there are none. Excellent. Thank you. That makes it easy. Item yeah. number four, counter uh, the county auditor monthly report. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Again, in front of you is our monthly uh, report. Uh, the reporting month is for the activity in June, beginning balances are July. So you can see a comparison between last year, July of last year, and July of this year. This does not include the TAN or the COs or ARPA. On the fund level, you'll see the comparisons between all the funds and the beginning balance of June, and as opposed to the beginning balance of July. And then, of course, the last page is a warrant schedule. I believe, I don't know here, but I think there's a computer removal, but I think the 
wheels are actually all in the insurance. I think we're the roofing part's done. I think at the jail, we're going to have another left that needs to put the electric, the uh, lightning arrester stuff back on. But besides that, I believe it's complete.
Second. Have a motion and a second to approve the treasurer's report. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to call the uh, meeting back to order at 10 a.m. of our regular commissioner's court meeting on July the 13th. Uh, first item that we are going to take care of this morning is we have some employee service awards that we are going to hand out this morning. So that's why we have all these smiling faces here. We <laughs> can't <laughs> see it happen. So we will take care of this window. There you go. And maybe you make sure you get the right ones over here. So our first one is for 10 years, Miss Dorothy Torres. Yeah. Uh, Dorothy, so if you'll step right up here, and uh, before we do the picture, you can make a speech. It's got to be less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Good 
morning. So last month we uh, wrapped up a eight week health program. Uh, I left extension and the wellness committee planned um, the program called Walk Across Texas. This program is eight weeks. It's to encourage uh, adopting a healthy lifestyle, um, just increasing their physical activity and a fun and team approach. Um, so how it works is eight, eight members can form a team and uh, each team's goal is to walk 832 miles, so which is equivalent to walking from Orange, Texas to El Paso, so virtually walking across Texas. Um, and this year we had a really great turnout. We had uh, 38 county employees participate, so forming five teams. And in those five teams together, they walked 8,799 miles. So they really went above and beyond. Um, of course, they all hit the 832 mark, but uh, that was equivalent. I think 8,799 was equivalent to walking to Australia from Hondo. So just to put in perspective. Um, so each team, they all walked the, the goal of 832 miles. And some teams, I believe four out of five even doubled that. So they walked across Texas and walked back um, and, and some. So they all did a really amazing job. Uh, today we want to recognize and acknowledge the top team that averaged the most miles in putting in that work along with the three top um, walkers or the logged in the most miles. It really kind of encouraged others just by doing and really standing as that forefront person in their team um, and encouraging a healthy lifestyle for those, for those eight weeks. So this is our second time doing it. We have our first place team, which their name was very creative, Holy Wacamoles, which had our Miss Glenda Moody. Um, we had Amy Laplin, who walked 598 miles. Um, yeah, we see her name often when it comes to this contest. <laughs> That's why I was see her walking around in the office in there. Yeah, she, she, she absolutely kills it every time. Uh, we had Casey Bragdon, who walked 152 miles. Eduardo Lopez, who walked 311 miles. Ruby Gossin, 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 301 miles. And then Olga Covarubias, who walked 187 miles. And together, the team walked 1,978 miles. So they were one of the teams that walked across Texas and back virtually. And then for our top three individuals, we had Amy Laughlin, of course, who walked 598 miles. But then we had Carla Mender, who walked 540 miles. And then Albert Garza, who walked 527 miles. That was on counting time for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little, get a little upper hand in that. But um, uh, we had a really great turnout this year. In, um, they did a really great job at, at motivating other people along the way and really uh, participating in the contest that the wellness community will have. Another one's hopefully we see more county workers uh, participating in that. And you, yeah, we just have certificates on uh -huh. some little prizes. So Amy for first place in the walking, Carla second, Albert from us. I know, right? I need a shoes. Big shoes. Amy and Albert. Wait, Albert. Wait, wait. What should we do with this too? From that. Y'all want to make sure? Or do you want to do a picture with them? I think I should say that. Hey, y'all want to slide over to the slide on this way?
Oh, go go won't come in. So we know the office. She will not come in. She will not come in. Exactly. Yeah.
eternity, we may have our plan updated within a week's time. So if I can find any questions, I'll be more than happy to. I'll make a motion to adjourn the I have a motion to second uh, for the city of Hondo to join the Medina County Emergency Operations Plan. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, say aye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burr. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Next, we have item number 12, a public hearing to receive comment regarding the application to vacate and replant for West 20 acres of Lot 2A of San Antonio Trust Subdivision located in Precinct 3 off of County Road 679. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. I'm Stephanie Crosser with the New Valley Service, and I'm here to answer any questions we have about this plot. Please request.
for final approval of the Hunters Ranch Subdivision Unit 18B located in Precinct 2. Do we have any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carries. Just uh, item 15, discuss and take possible action on final approval, approval of Nathan's Landing Unit 1 located in Precinct 2 off of Petrenko Road. You know, we're seeking final plan approval for the first days of Megan's Landing uh, off of Tranco Road, a little bit closer to 471. Um, all the construction has been completed. I think every, all the electrical infrastructure is in, all the water is in. Uh, they're still waiting for the, the treatment plant to get finalized plans and power up, but they're ready to start breaking ground and building houses. Uh, they're all half acre lots. This is a pit development. So I think that's kind of still in the uh, finalizing stage of the form. But it's pretty much complete. We're trying to wrap up the first days and move on. Okay, this is another one now. This thing had to be going in. Keith was involved some of this before we even uh, he got into office. Uh, Tim Whitman was uh, on every single we had a meeting with them, had a meeting with the sewer treatment plant, had a meeting with the owners. Uh, talked about where he, he followed their way, the equitable each went over and board to help him with this. This is going to be, every yard is going to be 100% irrigated by reused water. Uh, it's probably one of the first subdivisions in the state of Texas of 50,000 and under or not the top one or two or three that has this implemented into it, where 100% of the sewer is going to be used on these houses, all the entryways. Hopefully they don't have to uh, build any more wells to help supplement water. That's usually what they want to use. This thing will probably be saving 60% water savings in every single house. So Medina and Keith had very much instrumental in this. Uh, especially in this unit right here, that we're going to do our best, do our share in reuse work. Uh, it's a little bit to go all the way, is all I say. And with that, I'll give this draft uh, my blessing. I talked to the builders yesterday, and they're ready to get started. Yeah, they are. That is a motion. Awesome. Yeah. A motion and a second for final approval. Megan's Landing Unit 1 located on Precinct 2 off the Trinco Road. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. All right. Mm -hmm. All opposed, please sign. Motion to <laughs> Item number 16 discuss and take possible action on preliminary approval of the following units of Megan's Landing Subdivision located on Precinct 2 off the Trinco Road. Units, or, I'm sorry, Unit 4A and Unit 5A. Yeah, so we're seeking uh, preliminary plot approval for uh, the garden home too, the units of the garden home section. Uh, these are going to have the reuse water, like Commissioner Saber said, for the irrigation of the yards. Um, and we're ready to break ground. Uh, I guess they already have builders lined up, waiting for us to finalize plans, go to construction, start taking down lots. So different builder than the half acre lots, but still going to be higher end homes. They're going to have the irrigation yards, which is a big selling point for, for Mr. Harry. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the preliminary approval of Megan Landing, uh, Precinct 2, Off the Trench Road, Unit 4 and 5. I have a motion and a second for preliminary approval of the units of Megan's Landing Subdivision, Unit 4A and Unit 5A. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item number 17, discuss and take possible action on acceptance of the Department of, S Department of State Health and Human Services Agency Contract HHS 00080530001 for fiscal year 2024 funding notice for the WIC program. This is just approval of this contract number for FY24 for the WIC program. Okay. Is this the we are 
getting the funds? I mean, it's, we will we receive them or? We will receive them. Okay. Yes. I just saw it said funding notice. So. Yes.
a motion and a second that we accept the resignation for Timothy Newman, Commissioner Precinct Number One. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. And um, just uh, reference to this item, uh, we for the I'll go through a couple things. First of all, the interim period, if uh, there's anything to do with subdivision um, information, Commissioner Sitter has agreed to take those responsibilities uh, to help us continue through that process. Um, any other things that are non-subdivision uh, related, Commissioner Sitter has been gracious enough to, uh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Lynch has been gracious enough to uh, um, watch over the day-to-day -day operations, and he will be doing that. Of course, Commissioner Lawler down on that end of the county, if there's anything that needs to be taken care of, um, he said he would be glad to, to uh, take care of that as well. Uh, the process will, in this particular case, uh, because it is a county commissioner that submitted a resignation, uh, the responsibility falls back to my position as county judge to uh, actually uh, find a person and appoint them to that position. Uh, qualifications for the position are the same qualifications that it would take to run for the position, which is that the person has to live in the precinct. They have to have been in the precinct for at least six months, and they have to have lived in the county for a year. So those are the basic qualifications. Uh, with that said, probably today or tomorrow, we will get basically in, onto the website, a place where people can go under the rest of the, where you can go for jobs on the site, that will give people opportunity to be able to go there if they would like to uh, submit a, uh, uh, submit a, a resume and a uh, application for the job. Uh, my intentions are not to do anything or talk to anything, body about a job. It, at all for the next couple of weeks, just let allow the process to take place. Looking at having a cutoff date for those applications of the Friday the 11th, is it Friday correct? Uh, next month, so about a 30 day window here where people could apply. And Friday the 11th, August 11th, Friday August 11th. Did we do your anniversary then? Yours. How about put in for the application? <laughs> so, um, So we, um, so we'll, um, at that point, and, and my hope is, so somewhere between, you know, 30 and 45 days, I'm hoping that we can have that person um, named and uh, the process done and sworn in and have them start to uh, participate. So I, uh, I think I've covered what the process, what the plan is, and so everybody knows uh, what we're Okay, um, item number 20, court announcements. Yeah, you know what? I think I got a real good one. You all just witnessed probably about an $850 million for the subdivision. Okay. The subdivision we are doing over there, uh, some of them had 20 year build outs, they're building out the 10. Some of them had 15, they build out the 5.
Precinct 1, 2, and the Eastern Corner of Precinct 1, I would say is 80% of the month funds that come into this county. Keeping that in mind, I will never slow up to strive to better our community. And I believe with these eight and nine hundred thousand dollar homes, we can do the job. The first subdivision in 2012 that went to Petranco Ranch was a subdivision called Lone Star Ranches. It was an SA Sand Green subdivision where they're going to sell hot dogs on Saturday and you buy your two acre lot. We'd have 150 wells bubbling more down into our aquifer from every trailer house up there. Don't get me wrong, I'm against trailer house. I live in one for 10 years. I find it didn't like enough. I went up and I really work. I, I worked hard. I saved all my money. My kids didn't have a hundred dollar net shoes. They eat a lot of beer meat. We suffered. Until I got my family where I wanted. It's up to every individual in this room to do the same thing. My bottom line is, precinct two, I have devoted my whole life. That's where I was 177 years. That's where I was from. Precinct two. I live one mile from my grandmother that settled in 1860, one mile from my grandfather that settled in 1848. I live right in the middle with subdivisions wrapped around me. I don't like nobody or anywhere else. But I will never back up from my love in Medina County and Precinct 2. That's all I got. If you did good, we're making counter 425 as we speak, trying to get it done before this morning today. It's too late. Yeah. Yeah. If you Pre missed the opportunity. Precinct 4, we're good. Uh, trying to keep the heat back around. Sure is. Okay, at this time, um, thank you, everybody. and. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Everybody have a great week. What's left of it? Great weekend.